Welcome to the Dataflow Group video guide to walk you through the process of completing the primary source verification PSV application for the Oman Medical Speciality Board. To begin, go to www.dfomsb.com. If this is your first time to apply, click on Sign up as new user. Tick the applicant box, enter and confirm your email address, read the disclaimer carefully and tick the I agree box, then click the sign up button. You will receive your login credentials on your email ID that includes your username, password and reference number. Go back to the login page, enter your credentials, select your case reference, then click on login. If you are an existing user and would like to generate a new case reference number to submit new documents for verification under your existing credentials, select applicant and enter your email address and password. Select click here to generate a new case and you will then be able to select your new case reference number from the drop down menu above. Read and agree to the applicant policy, then click on continue. Choose the package based on your profession and qualifications. In case you already hold a data flow report and would like to transfer it to OMSB, select Report Transfer Only or Report Transfer with Checks in case you would like to add a new document for verification. A custom package is also available in case you need to submit standalone documents for verification instead of a full package. On the Personal Details section, click on Upload and drag or upload a clear scanned copy of your passport. If the file uploaded is not clear, you will get two options to choose from. Try again to upload another file or manually enter your passport details. Check the details and make updates if required, then submit. Fill the rest of the fields, then click on Next. Note that fields marked with a red asterisk are mandatory to complete on all pages in order to move on to the next step. Fill in the details of the documents for each section relevant to the profession you are applying for. On the Education page, carefully read the instructions before you start entering your details. For the university or institution name, a pop-up will open to allow you to enter the name of the issuing authority of your qualification. If we have the name on file, we will pre-populate some of the data for you. If we do not recognise the name, click on I cannot find my issuing authority from the list to manually enter the name and country. Complete filling the rest of the fields Upload a clear copy of your original documents, then click on Next. If the verification of more than one education is required by OMSB for your profession, click on Add More and fill in the details of the additional certificates. Follow the same process for the rest of the components that are part of the package you have selected. Once you have completed all the components, you will reach the Upload Documents section. Download, print, sign, scan and upload the letter of authorization and upload a copy of your CV. In case there's a difference in your name between your passport and some of the documents submitted for verification, you will also need to upload a name change certificate. On the submission of application section, check your data to ensure it's correct. In case you would like to make any changes or corrections, click on the desired section. Once you are ready to proceed, tick the disclaimer, then click Next. Update your mobile number to generate an SMS code to validate the number and receive updates from us regarding the progress of your application. Click on Pay to move to the last section. Select your preferred payment method, enter the details of your card and click on Pay. Once the verification of your case is completed, we will notify you by email and your report will become available for OMSB. We hope you find this video useful. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel to receive notifications of similar videos as they are published. 
Feel free to add a comment below or reach out to our customer support team if you have any questions related to a case that you have submitted and you can find the contact details in the text below.